All right, so check it out. I'm going to speak on some shit. I'm sitting out inside work after work, waiting for my truck to warm up. And I figured, fuck it, I'd make a video. I am slowly coming to the realization that as hard as I try to be a good friend and to help people realize their potential and who they are and who they can be, that unfortunately my opinion doesn't really amount to much. And I don't know, honestly it's, it's hard for me to just walk away and I won't ever do that to friends. And especially not friends who are juggalos, because that's family to me. But <clears throat> I have to limit myself to the things I will talk about, uh, the things I will discuss with a lot of people. Because I am very, I, I guess you could almost say codependent on other people's feelings. I... I thrive on trying to help other people with their problems and, and fixing things and, you know, everybody, I mean, all my friends say I'm their hero and, you know, I'm no fucking hero, I'm just a broken old juggalo who's been through a lot of shit and knows, half-ass knows what he's talking about from experience, you know, I don't know everything, fuck, I probably don't even know half of everything, <laughs> but the things I do know, I know because I live them. And life is what you make it, you know? And if you... If you make it just not about anything, then that's all it's going to be about. So, I don't know, you know? I got mad love for everybody. I, My mother, the one thing she left me with before she passed away was the capacity for unconditional love. Um, I don't have the capacity for hate in my heart. I never have, and I probably never will. I've never, I've come close to hating maybe one or two people in my almost 40 years of existence, but I've never truly hated anyone. And it almost hurts me when people claim to know what I'm thinking or know what I'm what, how I look at things when even when I tell them it's different they just don't listen you know so you know I would never cut anybody out of my life I would never stop being friends with anybody especially people I know that they need me as a friend just as much as I need them and I would never do that to anybody so that's that's not my concern you know I just, I have to, I have to figure out how much I'll talk about, because I talk until I'm blue in the face to some people, and they just refuse to budge on any of their ways of thinking. I mean, you know, I'm not trying to change anybody's opinion of things, but I'm trying to show people that there's a different way, and it just doesn't seem to be working very well, so I don't know. I wish that, <clears throat> I mean, my grandpa always taught me one, you know, wish in one hand and shit in the other, but, you know, you're going to find out which gets fuller faster, but I have always, you know, I always wish that the fucking best for everybody I know, and it's tough for me not to see everybody I know get the best, but, you know, I've learned over my many years that everybody on this planet, when they go through a bad time, or something terrible happens to them, that they believe that it's the worst thing ever. I've been there. Everybody I know has been there. But believe me when I say that there is always somebody out there who's had it a hundred times worse than we have. You know, there are poor kids starving in the middle of nowhere that have never known anything but starvation and turmoil and war. And... <clears throat> We live in a country where, yeah, we have homelessness, and yeah, we have poor, and, and yeah, we have all these things, but the things we don't have are people that are starving 
in the middle of the desert and are so malnourished that they look like they're going to die. You know, we don't have those things because we live in a country where those things can be alleviated. So, in any case, you know, like I said, life is what you make it. You, you make it a good life by being a positive person and, and trying to help others <clears throat> and being there for people. And, you know, it kind of goes back to that whole conversation about is there a God or isn't there a God. You know, I do good things because I want to. Not because I believe that God is going to take me somewhere after this life. I, I believe that, but I don't think that that's, you know, I don't think it makes a difference as far as whether I'm good to people or not. I just know that being good to people helps me with who I am. Um, look up the word Byronic Hero. And it kind of explains the way I feel about myself sometimes. Because I'm no hero, but if I were to be, a Byronic Hero would be what I'd be. So it's B-Y-R-O-N-I-C. Look it up. And, you know, for those of you who know me, you might understand. But in any case, I just want you all to know if you're family, I love you more. And even if you're not family, I still got mad love for you. You know, I, I love every motherfucker on this planet. There's nobody on this planet I don't have love for. Nobody. So chin up, man. Fucking... Kick life in the nuts when it needs it, and fucking keep moving forward, and eventually you get where you're going. In any case, my truck's warm, and this light on my door is starting to burn my leg, because I'm a big fat motherfucker, <laughs> so I'm going to head home, curl up with my girlfriend, and go to sleep, but I'll, uh, I'll be posting a new video again soon, and y'all have a good night. Peace. Much family love.